So looking at the front cover, in terms of the shot and angle, does the image appeal to you? Um, so, I, I presume this is taken from like um, just it's not it wasn't taken to be a magazine cover, so um, it's it as the aesthetic of a normal photo, but then it's like underneath like that, so it's kind of like he's looking down on you. Which is, it's, it's quite cool, I guess. Yes. Yeah. yeah, covers up the name there, which is also pretty cool. Okay, what about the colours? Do the colours fit with the genre of rock, and if so, why? Well, I like the way that the um, <coughs> the colour of the, the writing here as well goes with the sort of blue, the water and stuff. And um, I guess it could fit a rock. Um, I'm not really a rock guy, but I guess it like suits it well, yeah. So does it fit with a house style though? A house? A house style. The house style is like yeah. all the things that go together to make the magazine like what it is. Oh, like all the different styles and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it all fits together, yeah, if I'm really like Okay, that's yeah. good. What about the layout of the magazine? Is it appealing to you? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I mean, you can obviously like see like the band logo down in like the bottom third, which is kind of like, but but like the the fact that you have like the famous rock star in the top, which is the bit of the pe the magazine, the bit of the magazine that people will see first when it's in the rack, so they'll immediately see him before they see the name. But so it's kind of a bit confusing, but. He's a recognisable character, so that's kind of like why they've done it. Okay, cool. What about the fonts? Do you find them appealing and appropriate for a rock magazine? Um, I, was, I was just about to say I like this font here. It's nice, it's nice yeah. and wavy, yeah, so which matches the, the water, doesn't it? Yeah. It's wavy, like on the album cover as well. Um, not not particularly fond of the Korean font, but then I guess that fits the, the style of the magazine. If you're going for like the, the kind of like... Rebellious, emo, yeah, emo metal, emo metal kind metal. of thing, yeah, that 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 kind of thing goes goes well. Um, all the rest of them are pretty, pretty standard fonts, but then you can't go, you can't go over the top with the different fonts, because then it kind of starts to look a bit, a bit cheap and yeah, silly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So uh, it, it remains, it gives that element of class while yeah. having the cool fonts in there as well. So. Okay, thank you. Okay, so looking at the contents page, does the contents page fit with the normal conventions of a magazine? Um, personally, I, I think it doesn't because they're kind of opted for like one big picture here, where most music magazines will have like a series of smaller pictures to relate to each uh, article of the magazine. Uh, so it kind of doesn't follow the normal convention. Yeah, I, I like the way how um, I feel like when you said how it's like this bit's down the side instead of just down the middle, like how it's all pushed across, and then they can add more like visual. Like photos and stuff to make it look a bit nicer, so okay. just having words on a page. The all the images on there are they appropriate for a rock magazine? Um, well, yeah, I guess they are. Like, <laughs> that well, maybe, maybe not that one, but uh, like this this big photo, yeah, obviously you know it's like cool people. Does it show them as a band? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, obviously they're all wearing similar clothing and then sort of similar positions. You can tell they're all quite collected. And maybe this guy's the the lead, I'm guessing, and then they're sort of okay. Climbing. So. Talking about the clothing, in in that main image, are the costumes, the hair, and the makeup all appropriate for a rock magazine? For this rock magazine, yeah, I'd say so. Um, if it was in, gosh, um, what are we doing? Mojo or Uncut <laughs> or something, maybe not. But yeah, the, the, they're all wearing. You can tell on the wherever it was, the front. It's like quite a, a gothic or an, an emo magazine, mm. if you will, and they're all they're all wearing. Black. They've all got like dyed hair and eyeliner and stuff like that. So, yeah, I would say so. Cool. So, are the fonts on the contents appealing? Do they stand out? Do they attract you? Um, yeah, like, like the contents page, like how it's written here, it's got all these like kind of little drawings around it, which is really cool and stuff because you don't really see that on normal magazines. But they're kind of like tattoos, which kind of adds to the edgy, I guess, <laughs> vibe of, that the magazine's going for. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I like, the, I like how it's different. Again, like they've added all the photos there with the names as well. Gives it some sort of character. Like oh, okay. What would you add or change about this contents page? Um, I guess there's, there's a few like random photos sort of just everywhere, but you know, they're sort of 
a bit different to the, the other style I've got in the background, so the clashes of it. So maybe I'll change that. But other than that, I think that's quite good. Anyone else? Um, I would probably put more photos. Well, it doesn't actually. The, the actual articles inside that it's supposed to be telling you about are quite small. I, I wouldn't be like, oh, there's a article about this band that I like. I can see that. You have to literally look. Yeah. It's, it's tiny. So maybe if you had like, some of the bigger articles that were bigger on the page, that would be interesting. Maybe a photo of the people from there. That would follow more of the mm. conventions of music names. Mm. OK, thank you. Right, OK, so now looking at the double page spread, what is the initial thing that attracts you to reading it? Well, the first thing that catches my eye is probably the layout. I like the way the photo uh, sort of takes up the top half and the writing sort of, um, um, sort of like goes around it because uh, this really sort of attracts your attention and then you can sort of move out and read it all. I like the way the water as well. It's like the sticking with the theme on the first page. Yes. <laughs> it's just the the, the, the uh, continuity of yeah. water. Yeah, continuity of water as well. Uh, kind of what immediately catches my eye is this kind of black box here, which shows a, uh, a smaller article that isn't part of the main piece. Um, and that, uh, even though it's not that relevant to like what the magazine is <laughs> trying to show, it, it catches my eye, which may be a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not sure, but... Okay. Does the double page spread keep with the house style of the magazine? Um, uh, I'd say so. Um, as we said earlier about the, the water, I guess well, that's not really a house style, but it's um, it's like a consistent part of the magazine. Um, it keeps the kind of um, sort of standard font, the small font that they use throughout, so they're not changing that all around. Um, um, I think that this blue is used consist well, at least throughout this article, blue. There's obviously water and the Nevermind album cover and everything. So okay. yeah, I think well, at least it, it, it sticks to the house style of this article. So Do you like the layout of the double page spread? And if not, why? Well, Do you want to take this one? yeah, yeah. Well, I guess like, like I said earlier, <coughs> I like the way that the the main focus is like the the three people here, and then the the um, the bit they actually read sort of is based around it, and I like the way that. It's, um, he's like in the middle, <laughs> his two mates that are inside of him, it's like a scene of us, a good friendship and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of like the, uh, it's, it's quite creative the way they've added this kind of blue box, which is a lot like the inside of the album. That kind of like, um, you know, it's just kind of like a little add-on or something that kind of will give like hard, more hardcore fans, uh, you know, are the font styles used effective? Um, yeah, I think they are. Like, um, like when they need to be in the main article, they're quite plain and simple and easy to read. And then when they've got big quotes like this, like the part "A Generation" is written in the Nirvana font, which is kind of like a little nod to well, their fans, and it'll be you know kind of recognisable to most people. So that's quite a, a nice idea that they've done. Yeah, I like the way the um, the sort of the subtitles in a way of like they're very bold and easy to catch your eye. Also, stand out a lot more than just the normal writing. Okay, what would you add or change? Um, I, I don't know. I, I quite like it. I don't think I'll change much. I like the whole colour scheme and I think it all works together. But I guess I don't. <coughs> in just my opinion, um, obviously the writing is up here, but on this side, there's like it's not. So maybe I would I'd add it there and move this across a bit and make it more symmetrical. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. Yeah, just me. What, what, you asked what I would change as well. There's not really a. Maybe like a. Well, there's a pull quote there, but maybe like a bigger pull quote that goes across the image. Maybe like in the middle there, like, we're the best band or something like that. Like something, something like that. Just to okay. um, add a bit more um, intrigue yep. to, to, re to reading the art article, I guess. Okay, thank you very much.